Um, can you see the slot, the like presentation version? No, we just see the sort of standard working version. Thank you. <laughs> Let me do this. I should be better at this. There now? you go. Yes. <laughs> it's not like I don't teach on Zoom. That's okay. All right. Um, thank you all of you for being here. A special, so special appreciation to all the ladies who helped host this year. Um, I actually slept a whole like seven and a half hours without waking up several times to come check on this, although I think Jan took a turn doing that this year. So I really appreciate not having to do that two years in a row. Um, so happy International Day of Statistics and Data Science. I really, really appreciate everyone and everything, and I'm so glad that we were able to put together a second year of this. Name in my mouth, sorry. So first of all, to all the organizers, chairs, and speakers, if it weren't for y'all, we wouldn't have this day to do. So we appreciate everything that y'all have done to make that happen. Um, the program committee has been working super hard ever since I think April is when we started meeting to get this put together. So I really appreciate everyone on the program committee. I appreciate um, the sponsors who helped spread the word and let their people know about it and put their logos on our website. This was a thank you that LTO was nice enough to put together for our uh, um, Twitter. So I stole it from her. Thank you for putting that together and for all your awesome tweeting for like all this time. So I just wanted to have a special shout out that CRC Press and Springer donated books to give away. I, since this has been one 24 hour session, I can't go look at the attendees and randomly draw people. So once we finally end, I will go draw from attendees randomly and we will give you an email. Um, and Rootledge did a 20% off books for events. I think it's on our program page, but this is also the bit.ly for it if you would like a discount because they did this for our conference. Um, Monash University did a PhD competition, which we will get to shortly. And we also had a few places that donated places and people who donated money to help with our uh, amazing webmaster who helped us put all of this together and take this up a level of organization and helping us with collecting information, doing emails, just making all of our lives easier because she took care of all of the technical details and she put a lot of hours in, especially in the last probably six weeks. So it was really great for all the people who helped donate money to help pay for her. We appreciate that. Um, I just wanted to list out who was on the program committee. I definitely left some people out. Um, but these are the people who put their name in the books. So this is the people that I put on this list. So I apologize to, I know, Tommy Mori and Lee Tang and Tiffany. There were a couple other people who were part of our program committee. Um, I went through today and was trying to summarize what we had. It looked like we had 72 speakers from 22 countries. We had 980 people register from 60 different countries, and we had 43 sponsoring organizations and societies. Um, I think every year we say this, but hopefully we'll get started a little bit earlier next year. Um, <laughs> And get the word out about deadlines and stuff. We had some early deadlines this year because I know that in Europe, people actually take vacation in August, unlike us U.S. people who don't speak that. So we were trying to not put the deadline at the end of August so that they wouldn't have to work on their vacation. So we'll try to work on getting all that news out so that we can have plenty of time. Thank you to all the people in our program committee who have informed us of these things that some of us don't know anything about. Um, I'd like to engage our country reps more, and of course, we want to recruit, recruit globally. Jan did an awesome job of getting speakers from everywhere, so that was really awesome. My network is not as powerful as hers, so that was amazing. This was just a really sad Excel plot of the registrants and where they came from, but I was really excited that there were some peaks in other places besides the United States, was, which is really awesome because we didn't have such other peaks last year, so I was super excited. Um, so planning will begin soon. We all need volunteers, logistics, marketing. We are, there should be a survey going out from Zoom. If y'all can fill that out and let us know what you liked and didn't like, et cetera, so that we can make things bigger and better for next year. I put the wrong date on here. 
It should be October 8th next year, right, Cynthia? Pretty sure it's the 8th, the second Tuesday of October. It is the probably 8th. The four came, yeah. It's probably the, the 4 came from October 24. I mean, 2024, because who's ready to think about that? Definitely not me. Um, so if you're interested in volunteering, please. There we go. <laughs> Please do. We would love to have some people on the program committee and the more spread out our program committee is, the more we can network with people across the country since we we have a broader network when we're all together than any of us by ourselves. Um, there's an email if you want to volunteer. And um, I will pass this on to other ladies. Who's next? Jan, maybe? <laughs> So uh, I, I won't say uh, too much. I just wanted to thank everybody for, you know, this amazing, amazing conference. I mean, we didn't think we could pull it off, but we did. And it's, it's, I've been, I've been trying to attend all 24 hours of it, obviously had to sleep at some point. So I missed a few sessions, but people were the, the, uh, you know, the hosts were amazing in terms of, okay, you sleep, you're, it's all under control, go. So things like that is just, it was um, really eye-opening for me. But one thing I do want to kind of point out is we are talking about solidarity and we are talking about, you know, people People trying to um, work together because we all have a common goal. And because of that, I mean, I don't know if everybody here is member of the CWS. Um, I would love for everybody to join CWS. And so that when we start planning next year, we would have, you know, the people that um, from different countries represented amongst us and volunteers so that we are not, uh, you know, we have more countries uh, from across the world. Um, so I think that is one of the things. And the last thing that I was going to do is ask Hamza Hanbali from Monash to announce the PhD winners from last night. Uh, it, uh, I'm not sure whether they picked winners last night. I fell asleep. So Hamza, can you go ahead and announce the winners? Hi, Jan. Well, first of all, thank you very much for uh, making this happen. Unfortunately, uh, at this point, we can still not announce it. So because it happened overnight for Australia, uh, the process is still ongoing. I will get the name very soon. And as soon as that uh, that's ready, I will send you an email and I will also post it on Twitter. But thank you very much for making this happen. And thanks for those who presented the uh, the names will be the name of the winner will be available very soon thanks and this was a, a worldwide phd contest we had uh, three people who presented one from india one from australia and one from the us so i think it was next year we want more people from different countries uh, to present right hamza yes indeed we hope that they're going to be more people presenting uh, so this this was the first time that we organized it. We are still in the learning process, and we hope that next time it's going to be uh, um, uh, targeting more people across the world. We hope also that we're going to have a panel of judges from different places in the world. So it's uh, it's really an honor for Monash to be part of this, and thanks for making it happen. Hamza. Um, so I think um, I, I want to hand over to Dong Yoon, who is the uh, current president, and she will be the chair of the program committee next year. So, and after that, I think Dong Yoon will hand it over to Cynthia, who will be our next president for CWS. So with that, I am. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, hi everyone. It's nice to have you at the second IWSDS event. And uh, my name is Dongyeon Kim, and I'm for Women in Statistics and Data Science, the hosting organization. And I'm a mathematical statistician at the National Institute of Health in Bethesda, Maryland, in US. So the Jessica already summarized very nicely about the whole 
kind of a, a conference, but I just one more time, it's so important. So the following inaugural conference last year, IDWSDS 2023 has been a huge success. We are so glad to see the interest and enthusiasm you showed at the 24 hours event. So in our profession, we all deal with numbers every day. So let's talk about some numbers. That this year, almost 1,000 people registered and about 72 speakers from 22 countries presented in 36 sessions. Beside, 43 organizations and societies sponsored the conference. So there were so many interesting and diverse topics, and I wish I could attend every session. But I found it comforting that there is a, going to be a YouTube video available later. And so you can watch from the YouTube video. And some presented a new statistical method, while others talked about unique challenges as women in this traditionally men's profession. It was particularly heartwarming to me that so many young women professionals spoke at the conference with vigor and enthusiasm. I can count this event as another evidence that the gender bias and stereotypes against women have held them back from reaching their full potential, not because of their inability or lack of attitude toward so-called hot science. As they say, 80% of success is showing up. Following that logic, the reason for the success is mostly due to the fact that so many people around the world showed up for the event. So thanks so much for signing up in the huge number and made this event phenomenal success. Now, if 80% success is showing up, then you may wonder, what about the remaining 20%? Well, again, someone said, then the other 20% of success is following up. And I couldn't agree more. So we want to share with you where we plan to go from here. The folks at the caucus plan to extend the great work done this year to the next level, increasing the number of representatives and speakers. To promote diversity in representation, we will encourage more participation from Africa, Asia, and South America. And joining forces with other neighboring professional organizations and societies, as well as research institute, is another direction that we will take to improve this conference. Students are the future of our profession, so we will make an effort to spread the word to universities so that more students can participate in the future. Exposure to social media, marketing, and member engagement through the newsletters and other avenues will be pursued. So now that we are successfully closing this year's event, that plan for the next year begins soon. So your feedback will be more invaluable to make the next year's conference even better. So drop us a line or two at idwsds at cwstat.org. We would greatly appreciate if you could give us ideas that could help us in planning. Thank you very much. And thank you, Dong Yoon. We are so pleased to have such a wonderful gathering here for the past 24 hours. I'm Cynthia Bland. I'm the um, president-elect for the Caucus of Women in Statistics, and I'm a statistician at RTI International. We are pleased to be able to uh, be a sponsor of this event as well. We have been just enjoying such community together and also a wonderful time of learning. And I would love to hear from you all and take a little bit of time to um, to share some of the, you know, maybe an aha moment or perhaps a favorite session that we were able to attend. So think about what you enjoyed or got an interesting snippet out of. And um, I will start off with um, sharing how I uh, got to enjoy sort of my love of two things that I enjoy, which are um, history and statistics, and then also toss in a little bit of astronomy. So I really enjoyed this session. I think it was number 20 about women in big telescopes. That was about Elizabeth L. Scott. And um, that was um, a sort of a nice historical look back at, at her life. So that was something that I was unfamiliar with and, and was an interesting um, 
a biography, sort of um, exploring of her life. So I'm curious if there are others who have something that they would like to share, either um, an interesting insight from one of our speakers or a topic that they were pleased to learn more about today. Cynthia, put your teacher hat on and just call on people. <laughs> Can I start? I, oh, we'll go to Dong Yun. I just yeah. <laughs> make something up. Go ahead, Dong Yun. Yeah. So I made some note. It's amazing uh, the fact that the Indonesia uh, from the uh, presentation, then 63% women students and then 37% present male students, which is, is unexpected to me that uh, Indonesia is still is kind of a women students is less than half. I That's what I'm guessing. But the fact that is a two to one ratio, it's really amazing. And then the, it, it's great fact that I learned from this uh, the conference. Thank you. Does anyone else want to volunteer an interesting fact or a topic that they enjoyed, Jan? I'll, I'll be real quick. I really enjoyed the uh, session from Indonesia as well, because Rini actually shared some about the history of Indonesia, about the geography of Indonesia. And, you know, when she was talking about the tsunami, she started crying. I mean, it was so emotional. It was a really emotional session about, you know, how some of the, uh, you know, how some of the devastation and what and the good news about how, you know, the aid and all that helped develop the nation back and how more and more women are going into the um, the schools. So I think like just knowing about those sessions, those, you know, those countries and just, and, um, you know, trying to see if there are ways where we can connect our students with students from Indonesia to have some, you know, common ground. Maybe the college students can talk to each other. And that's one of the offers I made to her uh, to connect our undergrads with hers. Uh, to see if, you know, they would uh, form some uh, relationships and talk to each other. That's a beautiful point, Jan. I think the idea of a connection, and as Dong Yun said, that 20%, the following up for what's next, is not just something that we don't have this community just today for this nice 24 hours, but it's something where we can start to build those connections. Many speakers provided their contact information, Many times we said, oh, well, we're running out of time. We'd love to ask a question of you. Really take Don Yoon's advice to heart and do follow up with him. Anyone else want to share a topic or a session they liked? Um, perhaps I could call on, on Wendy maybe to share something that she enjoyed. I think he's going to call me. <laughs> All right. I uh, I have to admit, I, I wasn't able to attend uh, uh, you know, all the sessions because I also have other commitments that I'm teaching. And by the way, it was Canadian uh, Thanksgiving yesterday, and I was uh, so grateful to have the opportunity to meet so many amazing women. Uh, and and I uh, heard something today that really uh, you know hit my heart. Um, you know, really actually, uh, you know. Uh, so much that I wanted to just mention this one. Uh, it was a talk uh, uh, given by um, uh, Vanessa Leoti, and she talked about uh, the the word uh, that she put together, mastat, and uh, and also um, related to uh, women and girls and the mother. And and I I just I took that as an inspiration of really thinking about. I'm my mother, <laughs> by the way, and how we can really uh, find ways to connect with uh, uh, future um, statisticians and the girls in, in, in the science field. And I, um, and, you know, I don't know if she's here, but the idea was just so amazing. And I, I never actually thought about how I actually put those words together. And it has a very powerful uh, way of actually, um, you know, making a statement. Um, and so I think that's something that I heard um, that I, I, I will remember. I don't know how to say that in in in, in her language, but uh, I don't really want to hear um, you know heard that. But uh, it, I think anything that I took away from today's session is that uh, um, there's so much that we can do, and and it would be very important uh, for us 
those of you who have you know, been part of the CWS executive to really see what are the opportunities for us actually to be engaged and then continue our efforts. And Jane has been you know, doing this for a while now, really trying to bring um, you know, women in citizen data science from all over the world and come and to really have the opportunity to learn from each other. And I think this is something that, uh, um, you know, we should really continue and uh, I, I will. Uh, and I wanted to thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Wendy. And uh, if I, I should just to... say something, I, you all did the intro, many of you probably don't, don't know. I, I am, I think, past, past, past president of CWS. So <laughs> I'm old, just by the way, <laughs> but I have been around and I, I feel this is a family and I don't think I will leave the family. I will continue to be part of a family. I treasure it so much. So thank you. Uh, I, I hope the family is expanding bigger and bigger. <laughs> and we're grateful for that. And so speaking of extending, um, we could hear from um, the incoming president-elect, uh, Umut, if she would like to, um, to give a, a word or two about some of your favorites that you learned today. Sure, yeah. Uh, thanks, Cynthia. Um, I mean, I wasn't able to attend to all the um, talks, but the ones I attended, they were very impressive. But the thing I was amazed by is the teamwork, um, how people made this happen. This is a huge event. A lot of um, pieces needed to be put together and um, around the clock, literally more than now for 24 hours. Um, you guys made this happen, and I don't think we had any issues, any technical difficulties. It went very smoothly, so thank you very much. And I agree with Wendy, this is family, and our family made this happen. Thank you all very much for this great experience. Thank you. And um, if I could give a, a big shout out and a big thank you to Altia for her um wonderful Twitter and turn it over to you for any anything that you have to say. You've been saying so much behind the scenes um, so so nicely to publicize the event. Any any themes that you're saying, I don't believe you've slept at all. So love to hear from you. Just sleeping into here, but it's been, yeah, just been part of the family and it's been great to learn with all of you and to get to know him, getting to know you all. So hopefully see you next year. Thank you. We're quite grateful. Thank you. Anyone else who would like to share something that they found um, inspirational or intriguing throughout the day? Um, this is Rochelle. Uh, I'm part of the program committee. Uh, I do want to say that, uh, you know, I attended the uh, PhD presentation, the competitions, and I also attended a couple of sessions this morning, you know, on the uh, young women's statisticians. I find both, you know, they are very inspiring, uh, like, you know, for their uh, PhD project uh, uh, presentations. You know, one of the project is about looking at the gender role, you know, on the outcome of the uh, FDA inspections. I found that you know, like the results, you know, is very uh, intriguing uh, to looking at the gender roles, you know, like for the PhD students, they are doing very uh, interesting and innovative work. Similarly, you know, for their presentations, for the uh, young uh, women statisticians, uh, they are doing a lot of interesting work. They're very creative, they're inno innovative, you know, they are very like passionate in the, uh, in the US take to uh, seek opportunities. Uh, so, you know, it's great uh, to see all those presentations, uh, to see their, like, the younger generations are going to be, like, great statisticians. That is so great. That's a wonderful thing to come away with from this, from this event. Yeah. Anyone else? Well, we're happy to sit here and toot our own horn. I would also say that we're, we're interested in improvement. And if there's something that you feel like you thought today might be that you didn't get from today, um, we're happy to hear about it here um, or certainly do have um, that upcoming opportunity in the survey so that we can take the, the useful, um, even critical feedback and make this an event that is worthwhile for everyone 
and that meets your expectations. So we'd certainly love to hear about that as well. I just wanted to end on a kind of a, we talked about creativity and things like that. So I am a sort of person who can't sit still. So during the 24 hours, this is what I made. <laughs> it's a hat. <laughs> so it's a purple hat. So if people on the program committee like it, let me know, I'll make you. It is uh, something I do all the time. So. And so I would say that, you know, on behalf of Jessica and I, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the work people did. And even though Jessica and I both had COVID the last two weeks, it, we met some of the other, this whole program happened. And so thank you for a wonderful day, 24 and a half hours. So I think we are out of time. Anybody? Two more minutes. <laughs> Thank you very and much. And please join CWS if you're not, if you're not a member. If you're not a member, please join CWS so that we you can be part of this family. We need our we need more people in our family. <clears throat> yeah, thank you very much, and Jen and Jessica. That well, without you guys, uh, this <laughs> conference cannot be. <laughs> thank you so much. Great. We've got lots of work for next year, Dongyun. Yep, <laughs> you and I. <laughs> Great. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.